and today we're going to talk about the second predictable vowel team. We know that if something is predictable, you can tell what's going to happen. So an example of something that's predictable is it's going to, the sun will set tonight. Last week, we talked about the AI and AY predictable vowel teams. And today we're going to talk about the second set of predictable vowel teams, OA and OE. So we know that every single time we see AI or AY, it makes the long A sound. The same is true with OA and OE. It's predictable. Every single time you see OA, it says O, and every single time you see OE, it says O. So just like our first set of predictable vowel teams, it really depends on the position of the word in which it's found, which one you use. We use OA at the beginning and middle of a word, and we use OE only at the end. Okay, so let's take a look at how this would look in our blending board. We said we can only use OA at the beginning or middle of a word. So this word would say p oat, pot. I could also have this at the beginning of the word. This would say oat. Let's try a few more. This would say loan, don, and dobe. So what are your thoughts about this one? You're right. We could never have a guardian consonant at the end of OE because OE is only found at the end of a word. So this would say do, like a female deer, foe, like an enemy, woe, and so. OA says O like boat at the beginning and middle of a word. OE says O like toe at the end of a word. All right. Let's take a look at what some of these words would be if we were going to spell a one syllable word with an OA or an OE. We're going to use our sound box paper to take a look. So if you have sound box paper, take it out now and you can follow along. Let's take a word that has the long O sound and review the three ways that we know how to make the long O sound. We know that open syllables have long vowel sounds. So open O, like in the word no. We know that magic E can make an O sound. So in the word nose, I have n o s, but I have to have a magic E. And our third way that we can make the O sound is by having a vowel team. So let's take the word roast. How about the sounds in roast? Er, o, s, t. Capture the sounds in roast in your sound boxes. Er, o, s, t. And notice that I put o, a in one sound box because it's making one sound. Er, o, s, t. I also can recognize that my S and T makes an end blend. So they each get their own boxes because I can hear each sound. But if I want to, I can make a connector recognizing that that is an end blend. Okay, let's try the next word. The next word is float. F, L, 
O, T. Capture those sounds in your sound box. O, O, T. Notice what happens if I say O, O, T. What did I really just write? I really just wrote, wrote flat because this guardian or keeper consonant is keeping my vowel short. So if I say, if I write float and I don't give it a magic E or a vowel team, I've actually made it the vowel short. So I know that I can say O A goes in one box and now I have the long vowel. Okay, let's do a couple decoding of two syllable words with, that have OA or OE. If you have syllable surgery paper, go ahead and write down this word. T-O-A-D-S-T-O-N-E. Let's pretend that I'm reading along and I have never seen this word before. Am I going to guess? Nope, I'm going to use a strategy. I'm going to divide this word into syllables and read one syllable at a time. This isn't any different than what we've done, except we have to recognize that these two vowels are acting as a team. And so I'm going to circle them and mark it with one V because this is making one vowel sound. Then my next vowel is the O, and right away I recognize that this is an E at the end of the syllable, and it must be a magic E. Okay, now let's take a look. First step, find your vowels. Second step, look at the consonants in between. Notice this time I have three consonants. Do you remember our rhyme? When there are three, a blend or digraph it must be. And I know that ST is a blend, so they stick together. So now I have two consonant sounds, and two consonant sounds between the vowels will split. So we slide and divide and break this word into two syllables. Your first syllable is this. What does it say? Is it Todd or Toad? We know that this is Toad because OA always says O. The next syllable is Stone. I know my magic E is going to make my previous vowel long. So this word is toadstone. Toadstone. And it's actually a compound word that has toad as a real word and stone as a real word. And together, toadstone is a kind of rock. Okay, let's try another one. The next word we're going to divide is O-B-O-E. If I come to this word in text and I have no idea what it is, I'm gonna use a strategy. My first step, find your vowels and build a bridge. And I'm going to circle O-E because I recognize that that is a vowel team. I look up and I have just one consonant in between. Say it with me. When there is one, one will run. We also could say, hold on tight, I'm moving to the right. Okay, so one will run. I divide my syllable. And my first syllable is O. Open O says O. This doesn't have a guardian consonant, so I know that it says O. My next syllable is b o bo. My word is o bo obo. And oboe is a kind of musical instrument.
Okay, so that was decoding. Now let's encode or spell some two-syllable words that have the OA, OE vowel teams. What if I want to write the word soapbox? My mom got up on her soapbox and told us all of her thoughts. First step to ask yourself is how many syllables does your word have? Soap box. My word has two syllables, so I'm going to give two syllable scoops. Now I tap out the sound of each syllable. Soap. O p soap. S o p. What did I just write? I actually wrote the word sop, right? It's always about the vowels and if the vowel is long or short. And I know that if I want to have a long vowel, I have to do something. I have to leave it open. I have to give it a magic E or I have to use a vowel team. So let's try it again. Soap. S-O- P. Soap. My second syllable was soap box. Tap out the sound in box. B-O-X. B-O-X. My word is soap box. Okay. Last word. Let's try the word sailboat. I can't wait to go out on the sailboat. How many syllables does sailboat have? Sail boat. Sail boat. Tap out the sounds in sail. S-A-O. Sail. A ooh, think very carefully. I need it to say a long A. What vowel team could I use that says long A? A I. And I chose A I because it goes in the beginning or middle of a word. Sail boat. B O T. Should I use O A or O E? I should use OA because it's in the beginning or middle of a word. My word is sailboat. That's all for this week and our second predictable vowel team. Join us next week when we talk about the last two predictable vowel teams.